Is this stuff worth anything? Considering the amount of work that I see all around this room, I would say that you have maybe about 300,000. How lucky can you get? Hi and welcome to Top 10 Lists where today we'll be looking at 10 of the luckiest storage unit finds. But before we get underway, we're also hosting a 100... I gotta do it, man. Number 10. Faceless Cash Really, this is more so one of the creepier jackpots that someone might come across in a storage unit. As one of the background people you see in the A&E show Storage Wars, a lucky buyer would purchase a unit at a relatively low price of just $400. The storage unit itself did look like a crapshoot, which is why it was purchased for so little. It did have an upside, however, because it also included a hidden old trunk inexplicably filled with more than $24,000 in cash. And what's even more strange, all of the bills were defaced, literally. Of course, we'll never know why or even who did this, but at least the buyer was able to cash in the money. And here's a fun fact about the United States Treasury. Despite the bills being faceless, as long as they had the serial number still intact and passed any necessary tests, they could still be accepted, though we doubt that they'd be in any kind of circulation. Number 9. Elvis Presley Newspapers Yet another find from the television series Storage Wars, in a 2010 episode, one of the show's original bidders, Dave Hester, would manage to come across an impressive find after putting down $750 based on a simple hunch. After hearing about the story, I wouldn't mind a little bit of fortune myself. Anyways, as one of the last pulls from the storage unit, a large cache of about 25 newspapers dating back to the day that Elvis Presley died, August 19, 1977, were found in a small box. The papers were in excellent condition, practically right off the press, and the fact that it offered a flashback in time to the moment that the world lost the king, well, to some, the prince could be thought of as priceless. Sold as a complete set, though, the collection would eventually be appraised at a value of about $90,000. So it wasn't a bad turnaround for a couple of quarters at the time. You know, Six, along with being a fine actor, Nicolas Cage is also a collector. One of the things he likes to collect is comic books. Number eight. Number one. Now, most comic books are among some of the most common and valuable collectible items. And believe it or not, if not, this entry would definitely change your opinion. After a storage auction, which took place in Southern California in 2011, a mint condition of Action Comics number no. 1 was found. Quickly after that, the book would go on sale at ComicConnect.com and was then sold for over $2 million, as it's one of the only nine in the world in that high of quality. What's more fascinating about the find, however, is that the comic's former owner was none other than the highly criticized Hollywood star Nicolas Cage. The actor had originally purchased the book in 1997 for an assumed $150,000, but then it was later reported stolen sometime in 2000. I was hitting it so big, it was like being an effing rock star. We just kept hitting. Larry Bird basketball, baby. Autograph Magic no. Johnson. Stacks of them, and he signed them all. And hit him. I have Number seven, works of art. In a season three episode of Storage Wars, the gambler, also known as Daryl, did what he does best. He took a gamble on an interesting little unit for the priceless sum of $3,600, and it didn't take much for Daryl and his pal to realize that they had struck painted gold. If this is a real Frank Gutierrez, this thing could be worth thousands. There's hundreds of Frank Gutierrez paintings. Though, as the unit was filled with more than a hundred original pieces of work from Frank Gutierrez. Now, as is part of the show, Daryl would be easily able to get the many drawings and paintings estimated by one of the show's experts, with everything able to be added up in plain sight and the estimated total value for the entire collection coming in at somewhere near $300,000. 
300,000. Congratulations. Hold on just a minute. $300,000? Needless to say, this was the buyer's most profitable unit on the show to date. The California sound of the Beach Boys surfing USA, classic American rock and roll. You may have missed the 60s, but you can now see treasures from the band's rise to fame. Number six, the Beach Boys. Sometime near the end of 2000s, a Florida radio station would decide to play a Storage Wars themed game of their own and purchase the unit for about $300. The locker had been rented out since 1970, however it was around 2006 that the owner just decided to stop paying their fees. Therefore, the contents, which were listed as part of the auction as documents and papers, were then put up for sale in order to clear up any expenses and clear out the space. Too bad the owner of the lot didn't look more into what was actually in the locker because he'd wrongfully labeled documents and papers to actually be photographs, written work, and even royalty checks belonging to the Beach Boys. The discovery would lead the remaining Beach Boys filing a lawsuit to reclaim ownership of the material, a battle which would last eight dreadfully long years. And despite their best efforts, the band's memorabilia would soon be sold at auction for an undisclosed amount of money. All the reports do estimate it to have been somewhere around six million pounds, which equals about eight million United States dollars. Here, hold this for a second. Wow, look at how intricate this is. 150 for this one, 500 for that one. Number five, treasure. Yet in another 2011 episode of Storage Wars, team couple Dan and Laura would pull together a sum of $1,000 in order to buy what be one of the best finds to come out of the show. Undoubtedly, the high point in their career at the time. The two would stumble upon a genuine hoard of pirate treasure. Well, Spanish gold to be exact some coins even as old as the 16th century. Interestingly enough though, the remarkable find was so heavy that it required three people to carry it out wherever they went. That being said, the pirate booty altogether amounted to over 500 grand in profit. Where this all started, some lucky buyer, there's the, there's the blue Rubbermaid dub, some lucky buyer paid a thousand bucks for the contents of this storage locker and winds up with yes. half a million dollars of gold and silver historic coin. As for the buyers, well, they respectively chose to be kept anonymous, which, if you're holding on to that much gold, is probably a smart decision. And a classic car that sat gathering dust in a British garage for nearly half a century could be worth more than four million dollars. Right. Number four, Bugatti. In recent years, Bugatti have quickly surfaced as one of the most prestigious brands in the automotive industry, and any one of their vehicles is well worth over a million dollars. So, you know, good luck getting one for yourself. However, they didn't always have such a high price tag. In 1955, an English surgeon by the name of Harold Carr, ironic I know, purchased a 1937 Bugatti 57S for an unknown price and soon later would abandon it in a storage locker in northeastern Newcastle. Unfortunately though for the man, he would pass away, which would leave his nephew to inherit the locker. There he would find the vehicle unused for more than 50 years, still in excellent condition. He then learned that only 17 models were ever made, prompting him to soon sell it at an automobile auction in Paris for an impressive $4.4 million, more than double the worth of anything else. Number 3. A 1927 Harley-Davidson 8-valve motorcycle Harley-Davidson brand automobiles are also a fascinating collector's item with some easily ranging in the millions. This find isn't quite as valuable as that, but it's still impressive nonetheless, because almost 90 years after its build, a 1927 Harley-Davidson FHA 8-valve V-twin racer would be found at a storage auction in Melbourne, Australia sometime in 2015, then being sold at auction for $674,000 plus. Now, now, you don't even want to know how competitive bidders were in the American and European markets. Despite all its efforts, however, the vintage racer will be staying right where it was found in Australia. 
If you're a James Bond fan with a spare £950,000, then how do you fancy getting your hands on one of the most famous cars of all time? Number 2. The Bond Mobile A classic in the James Bond film series, the custom-made Lotus Spirit submarine featured in the 77 James Bond movie The Spy Who Loved Me was sadly dumped after production in a storage unit somewhere on Long Island and then left untouched for years. Now comes 1989 when the locker would be purchased for $100, just $200 if you adjust for inflation. The owner kept it as a nice souvenir, that is, until he realized the true value in 2013 and it didn't take long for a buyer to come along. Now, I'm a little jealous by this detail personally, as the unique vehicle's buyer was none other than billionaire Elon Musk, who purchased the item for $700,000. Number 1. War Antiques Purchased in a Virginia auction, one lucky bidder would manage to snag a storage unit which had been previously owned by a World War II general. Kept within the unit were a number of priceless military-related antiques found from across the world. And half of the antiques date back all the way to the Civil War. Mixed with the countless antiques were also multiple signed documents from United States presidents. In all, the lucky buyer scored about $200,000 worth of stuff for his outstanding find. And that concludes what are 10 of the luckiest storage unit finds out there. Feel free to leave us a comment below and tell us what you thought. One person who leaves a comment will have the chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Also, be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. Have yourselves an excellent day.